falls back in time to before we knew anything holding us together it's holding us together I'm tied to you This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that while love, loyalty, and understanding are the ingredients of a happy and enduring home, Jesus Christ must be present also. He is a solid foundation upon which all of these must rely. Do you pledge your love and your life to chase today and always, and if so, could you respond by saying I do? I do. And Chase, do you come here today with the intention to be legally joined in marriage to Sarah? Do you, before God and all these people who also love you, pledge your love and life to Sarah today and always? I do. 
And so the pledge you make today expresses your devotion to one another and to the love you share. And the words spoken here will support your marriage if you are able to sustain your commitment through the inevitable hardships that you will face together. They have selected a scented oil representing their separate lives. And Hans and I will have a clear unscented oil which will represent God. And when mixed together, they have a scent unique to them. It's that cord of three strands that's not easily broken. And it represents the blending of their lives with one another and with God. And once mixed, it cannot be separated. Love is fuel and burns hot. And it also can burn as kind of a sustaining thing. But what will hold you guys' marriage together is not so much just how much you love each other and how long that love lasts. It's going to be how many times you can forgive each other. By the authority of the state of Washington and that of Almighty God, I pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God has put together, let no one put asunder. Chase, you may kiss your bride. amazing to see the shift in Sarah since she's met Chase. Those that know Sarah knows that she doesn't feel anything lightly and some may think that's a fault but Sarah loves harder than anybody that I know. <laughs> when Sarah was at WSU Sarah and Chase put in the work to make their long distance relationship work and made an effort to see each other as much as possible and I give Chase a hard time every single time that I'm in town and I see him but I really couldn't pick hand pick someone better for Sarah. I knew Chase was going to marry Sarah when he started driving seven hours to Pullman. <laughs> Whether it was the time he made the drive to Pullman and spent the night there because Sarah didn't want to be alone, even though Chase knew he had to work in the morning. He woke up early and made that seven hour drive to work a full shift without a minute of downtime. <laughs> I knew Sarah was committed to Chase when he wanted to explore his career options and went through a handful of different jobs. 
Uh, honestly, Sarah, one of the greatest joys of my life has been watching you grow and evolve into the wonderful woman and person that you are today. All of the kindness and smarts and funniness that you took from me, um, which is just great. Um, Chase, you are the most patient and kind and calm and just cool person I have ever met. I can't wait to continue to watch you guys grow and evolve as husband and wife. And uh, to Chase and Sarah. Okay.